It's only been a week since you were last here, but I feel a need to vent everyone. Marcus Rashford has been injured against Aston Villa. Marcus Edwards has been injured against Aston Villa. Musa has got injured against them. Sancho is injured against them. Tellez is injured against them. I'll see you guys in a month. Our squad is falling apart. I'm just praying that in the next 30 days, our season isn't about to as well. What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to episode number 7 of our Manchester United Let's Play here in FM21. Today we've got a huge live com double header kicking things off with a Champions League first knockout round first leg against Atalanta. Let me get my breath, that was a big sentence. And then following on from that we're going to be attempting to get some revenge on Liverpool. Who of course if you missed last episode, well the fact I want revenge might say a bit. We, we lost to them, 2-1, and that the notable criticism apparently was that 2-1 defeat. We lose one game all season, suddenly it's in big red text, and they're not happy with me. As you can see, the board's still not happy with Cavani or the draw against Tottenham. The good news is, since that game against Liverpool, we've bounced back superbly despite my rant about the injuries, which was in the very next game after the Liverpool match. We've managed to navigate through the last month pretty well, all things considering. A mini-injury crisis was not particularly pretty. If we just sort the injuries by date here, you can kind of see the injuries that we were getting. I mean, the good news is it was lots of minor ones, but just a load of small little injuries back to back to back causing all kinds of problems. Um, but we've, we've gone through it now. Rashford's almost fit. Edwards is back. I'm feeling optimistic and hopeful considering we've got two huge games in three days. I need the whole squad to be fit, ideally. So anyway, since that Liverpool game, we beat Aston Villa 1-0. Tellers, with the only goal from the penalty spot, was not really convincing. The injuries, the blooming in they were all over the place. It was a frustrating match. What was slightly less frustrating was the next game against Swansea. In the FA Cup fourth round, we ran out comfortable victors. Memphis Depay was superb in this game. And, uh, well, another player who was superb is Giovanni Reina. Because he has joined us, everyone. £20 million paid for the 17-year-old Englishman. He had an impact in this game. He was absolutely divine. Two assists to his name as we ran out victors. And uh, yeah, I mean, if we just have a look at him, look how blooming good he is. He's brilliant. He's actually 18 now. He was 17 when I first started looking at him, but we had to wait for him to be old enough. Um, he hopes he's going to learn a lot at United. I hope he is too, because if his kind of opening few games are anything to go off, He's got a bright future here. Two assists in two Premier League games has been playing the centre attack in mid spot. And to be honest, with the injuries to Edwards and Rashford, he's been a bit of a godsend. Anyway, we'll talk about the rest of the signings as we go through these results because there's plenty of games been played. In the Premier League, we then played four games in a row, lots of high scoring games, and then a quite close game against Brighton. I suppose the most notable of these results was the home win against Leeds United. 7 0 it finished, Martial with a hat trick. And as you can see here, he has currently scored uh, seven goals in four games this month. That's pretty good going for the Frenchman, if I might say so myself. He's been absolutely superb. And you know what? Just thinking about it, probably should praise his recent form while he's here. He already loves me. Are we best mates? Are we best mates? I'm not a favourite person now yet. Maybe if I just pr praise him for something else. Training. You've been good in training. Come on, please be my friend. Maybe by the end of the season, me and Anthony will be best buds. Anyway, after that run of league games, we had a tough game against Man City. Of course, we met them in the Carabao Cup. We met, met them in the FA Cup here. This was not simple. This was not plain sailing. Martial got us off to a good little start in the 56th minute. They then replied back. And at that point, 1-1, going into the last 10 minutes, I was nervous. I shouldn't have been. We brought Depay off on off the bench. He made an impact, but not before Martial grabbed his second of the game. And yeah, as I said, Depay in the 90th minute, coming up big for us. And to be fair, he has chipped in with a few goals since he joined us at the start of the January transfer window. One of the game played, it was against Aston Villa. We squeezed by again. Yes, two 1-0 wins against Villa in this run. It was Martial with it. Of course it was Martial with it. He bailed us out. It does mean we are unbeaten in the league. Unfortunately for us... Liverpool have also been unbeaten in the league in the same run of games and in fact the kind of point margin between us has not budged despite a month of gameplay passing which I suppose is why the, the second game of today's episode against Liverpool is going to be so huge. If we just look at the transfer history here you can kind of see the comings and goings done over the transfer window. We've done a little bit more than I expected perhaps. You can see on the outs obviously Lee Grant officially left us to go to New York City FC. I also made the decision to sell Matic. 
That might be a little controversial amongst United fans, although I did get in a replacement, and Papetti has gone on loan to Aston Villa. So despite how much I now hate Aston Villa, he was the best loan option for Papetti to go to. We've let him go to Aston Villa. So far, a 7.2 rating in the Carabao Cup, 7.03 in the Premier League. Great to see him get his first Premier League goal, and great to see a youngster of ours, you know, going to a fellow club in the same league and showing that he's of a good enough quality to hold his own at this level especially because he's eight. He's bloody brilliant, isn't he, Papetti? Go sign him in your own FM save game if you can. Anyway, on the ins, I needed a replacement for Matic, who was on significantly less money, and I've gone with Matthias Vecino? 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 Answers on a postcard. I don't know how to say it. I don't know Uruguayan. Is Uruguayan a language, or do they speak Spanish there? This is how I'm just an ignorant Englishman. Let me write a postcard, send it in. Um, but all in all, he's not actually that diff different to Matic, but he's on significantly less money wage-wise, and he's a little bit more complete. My big issue with Matic really was that as a option on the bench, he can only really play defensive mid. I don't play with defensive mids. Whereas with Matthias here, he is just a really versatile player who still has the great aerial ability of Matic, but can play a few other roles in midfield. And, well, we signed him, as you can see here, for 4.4 million, which is absolutely peanuts. I mean, we got rid of Matic, signed him in, had 10 million left in our pocket, which was nice. Of course, Giovanni Reina, the other player we've signed in this transfer window, alongside a few others that we talked about last episode, he's looked great so far. £20 million, of course, not a small amount of money, but with the new Brexit rules that FM21 has, where there's a limit on foreign players, Englishmen like this man come at a premium, and he's got absolutely insane potential. He's listed as a wonder kid, ambitious personality, giving him some chances in the first team. He has taken them. I'm pretty sure we've got a little superstar on our hands, which I feel very, very good about. Anyway, going into today's game against Atalanta, you can see here the kind of current state of play. A few players lacking Matt sharpness as they come back from injury. Unfortunately, Harry Maguire is still out with his broken ankle, still not ready to be selected. That does mean that Lindelof is going to come into the fray. Um, you can see here, Phil Jones is not registered for the Champions League because I'm a terrible person. So Tuan Zebe will be the man we have on the bench. Um, elsewhere in the team, despite Matt sharpness lacking a little. I think I'm just going to try and play a full strength 11. On the bench, we really have got options, though. I mean, look at this. Martial, Rashford, Fernandez, and Sancho as a front three, of course. Van der Beek and Pogba in the midfield. But on the bench, to have Edwards, Depay, and Greenwood, that's a pretty scary kind of prospect for any team. To just have those three players in our back pocket, three players who are in fantastic form, two of which have, well, 14 and 13 goals each. Edwards, for a long time, was our top goal scorer. He's actually slowed down a little bit, but Martial is taking off. 21 goals to his name. He has been brilliant. And, uh, well, let's get into this first game. It's against Atalanta. It's the away leg today, which in itself is pretty huge. We have a pretty much full-strength squad, perhaps gambling on a few players' match sharpnesses, uh, particularly considering we've got the Liverpool game in just a few days' time but ultimately, we have a six-point cushion in the league. I feel like I have to focus on the Champions League. This has to be the priority. And, uh, well, I'm going to try and encourage the boys, let them know they're the favourites. And hopefully, we're going to come through this game with a few away goals and give ourselves a great platform so that in tomorrow's episode, where we will be playing the second leg, as well as the Carabao Cup final... I can relax a little more. It'd be, it'd be nice to get a nice convincing win here. I'd like to believe we can do it as well. Atalanta, of course, a team whom last year defied all expectation. I don't want to say they overperformed, but they surprised a lot of people with how great they were. Um, a team who score a lot of goals, so we've got to be wary of that. Although defensively, we've been exceptional. Sancho out on the right side, cutting and gives it to Martial. He looked offside to me. He wasn't offside. He should have scored it. Keeper saves it. A great chance for us against Atalanta early on here. We've now got a corner to be whipped in by Bruno towards Martial. It's cleared away. Lindelof to collect. And, well, that's that's the highlight. I guess the one-on-one -on -one was the opportunity there. And, uh, well, Martial missed it. I mean, we've got an XG of 0.64 after two shots. So that gives you an idea of how good that opportunity was. That was a, a shot that Martial apparently was a lot more likely to score than miss. Which is disappointing isn't it apparently we should encourage the players to play short passing no we should not ignore i mean ultimately in this away leg just get ensuring we don't lose i suppose has to be the priority secondary obviously it would be to get an away goal or two i i, I like playing in the champions league kind of with the first leg being away from home 
if you can get an away goal early. If you don't get that away goal, it becomes more and more nerve-wracking and it can be a bit scary chasing the game if they do go ahead. Speaking of which, Gomez has only just narrowly headed it over the crossbar. It was Atalanta's first chance of the game. They have had five corners, to be fair to them. I'm going to just encourage the players. Just a few minutes before half-time, the encouragement may be coming in a little bit late, or maybe not. 80 seconds left of the half. Can we spring a surprise? With a team in possession, of course, they could hit us on the counter. Rashford, Tellers on the overlap on the left. He goes right instead to Sancho, and that is a disappointing ball. It's launched over. De Gea should collect. Don't handball it outside your area, please. Don't do it to me. Ball lumped at field. Martial latches onto the end of it. Superb touchdown. Tries to chip the keeper. You are nutty, Anthony Martial. What have you done? That was filthy. I'm going to have... That was disgusting. What an insane goal. I mean, the assist itself is awful. Uh, insane goal. You think of great passing. Insane finish. Let's go with that instead. He takes it down on a, over his shoulder. Dinks it. Keeper back pedals. Just can't get there. Goal number 22... Oh, my word. Apparently, De Gea's assist will be played again and again. Yeah, because the finish was forgettable, wasn't it? 1-0 at the break. That away goal coming at a beautiful moment. The media has given us credit. Boys, just go out there and do stuff. I am tempted to make some changes. And with Bruno on a booking, you know what? Let's bring in Edwards early today. Talked about the fact that Edwards has lacked a few goals. I'm ho hoping for the reverse of the curse of the commentator. The fact I've drawn attention to the fact he's not scored should now mean that he scores. That's what I'm hoping for. Will it happen? Pro probably not, if we're being realistic. But we can believe. An hour gone in this game. And, uh, well, apparently Lindelof is being a naughty boy. Lindelof is apparently a booking away from a suspension. So let's just tell him to ease off tackles. Additionally, I am going to take off Rashford, who's also on a booking for Depay. And I'm going to bring on Greenwood, I think, for Sancho. I think we just need to keep fresh legs in the final third. Our attacking midfielders are the players that do the most running in our team. With that in mind, knowing that I've got Liverpool in just a couple of days' time, I'm going to take the, I think, what's a sensible risk. And I say it's a sensible risk because, ultimately, it's the position of the pitch where we have the most squad depth. Our attacking midfield setup is absolutely stacked now as Memphis brings it through. Can he finish it? Of course he blooming can. Makes it 2-0 here. The away fans in unison... Bow their heads in disappointment. Look how sad they all are there. Oh, I mean, you'd love to see it. You'd love to see the disappointment of the home fans. Lovely goal. But yeah, just going back to that point, our attacking mid setup is so stacked with talent now. Although I have just taken off, debatably, our three best attacking midfielders, the three coming on are barely a downgrade. And particularly bringing on fresh legs in the final third, they can just change a game as a trio. We'll see if Edwards, Greenwood and Memphis can get another goal between them. They've already got one. I mean, Atalanta at this point are going to be bitterly disappointed. This is a game that they needed to keep it close in at the very least, limit our number of away goals. For us to get two here is superb. It really does put the pressure on them going into our back garden to start from the off attacking at Old Trafford. Anyway, they have got a chance here. So maybe, maybe maybe we shouldn't write them off just yet. There's still time left in this game for them to grab one. Pasalic has it, gives it back to Toloi. Back inside again, knocking the ball around at the back here. Playing a risky game against us. They are building up pressure slowly, but playing a very high line as a result. Pogba, ball forward. Martial can't quite win it, but only cleared away to Greenwood. Wambasaka on the overlap, gives it to Edwards. Back to Wambasaka. lovely build-up play here, whipped in. Headed away by Romero. We should get there. We don't get there, though. And there's a panda on the loose, giving it to Gomez, who plays it inside to Muriel. Can he score this? Can he get them in it? No, he cannot. I do not know who put in that tackle, but it made me very happy. That was huge. Let's give a bit more encouragement. We did it at the end of the first half, and it resulted in the goal. We're going to encourage them again. Can it result in another? Big ball over to Muriel. Wambasaka puts in one tackle, but it bounces away. Muriel with it again. Tight angle. And, well, the shot was absolutely awful. I do not know why we've just been shown that by Football Manager. I guess they wanted us to see some comic relief. 2-0 it finishes in the first game of today's episode. A huge result there. Memphis was great. Tellez. Yeah, I keep saying Tellez. It's Tellez, Jack. Tellez. Like, tell. He's Portuguese, not Spanish. Give him man of the match. Give him 7.8 rating for him at complete wing back. Top draw stuff. A massive, massive win for us. 
as you might have seen there from the calendar though. Not long to turn things around here. We have got a Liverpool game to prepare for. It is in a matter of days time. I'm going to join you guys for it. I want revenge after last time. Let's see if we can get it. Okay guys, so we are back here for the second game of today's episode and I was just taking a look over the last meeting against Liverpool, trying to work out if there was anything I could learn from this. And to be honest, it further reinforced the decision that I decided to make before the game, which is to drop Rashford in favour of Memphis today. A big call, debatably. I mean, Marcus Rashford started the season superbly, but his recent form has been atrocious. His average rating in his last five games is just a 6.68. And he is coming back from his injury still. He's still not 100% match sharp. So Memphis is going to come into the team. Of course, that Liverpool game last episode was decided by the last kick of the game. I think with the home advantage now being in our favour, with the recent form that we've had, which has been absolutely fantastic, I, I'm cautiously optimistic we're going to be able to get a result here against Liverpool. Of course, a win for them, suddenly the gap is cut to three points over them. So whilst we will have played them twice and there will only be 13 games left of the season, we will know that they are breathing down our necks. Worth noting that Mo Salah was not available for our previous game against Liverpool, despite having one of the best average ratings in the league. Right now, he is severely lacking match sharpness, so it's going to be very interesting to see if he comes in and plays. He broke his wrist, uh, ribs at the start of uh, January, as you can see here. He's been out for six weeks with them. He could play today. I don't think he will. I'd be surprised if he started for sure, but potentially keep an eye out for him on the bench. In terms of our team selection, I rested the players between games. I was pretty pleased with what we saw against Atalanta. So with that all in mind, this is the team that we're going with. It's the same team, Lindelof and Bailey at the back. Unfortunately, Harry Maguire still recovering from that broken ankle. It's not really the kind of injury where you can risk someone at kind of half fitness. But all in all, Pretty happy with the options we've got. Of course, Edwards, Greenwood and Rashford on the bench today. Memphis getting a big opportunity here. He's played, I think, eight games for us since he joined. Five as a starter, three off the bench, just in the league. And in those eight appearances, he scored three and set up three. Um, so, yeah, I mean, keep that in mind. Also worth noting, they are starting with Mohamed Salah today. And a player that has been suggested more than once in the comments section for me to sign has already signed for Liverpool, sadly. Yes, Thiago Almada. He's been given the nod today as well, which is a pretty huge decision for Klopp. Alongside the whole rushing Salah back, um, obviously I'm going to hope that today we get some revenge. I want us to pick up from that last game. We need to do better. It's one of our big rivals. Yes, we lost to them away from home. Anfield is a fortress, but this is our fortress. We are unbeaten at home this season. I'm going to hope dearly that we can make it happen here and get the result. And ideally, I would like the early goal. It's kind of become a trademark of the way that we play. Get an early goal, get it in the first 20 minutes, let us settle down from there. Anyway, I was nervous initially when they had the throw in, but it's been given away right on cue as I say that. We've now given the ball back to them. Liverpool with the ball in their aquatic away kit. As a Liverpool fan, I can't say I'm the biggest fan of it, but it looks okay in Football Manager, I suppose, as the ball's played over to Martial. Can he chip the... Oh, my word, Alisson. Alisson's been studying the tape. He has seen Martial do the chip in just the last game and gone, not today. I realise that because you guys are only seeing certain live comps, if you're someone who's not bought the game yet, you might be sat thinking, do these chips happen every game? No, I think that's the fourth one I've seen all season. We've just had two in back-to-back -back games with Martial. Apparently, he loves chips. Who would have known? Who would have? Apparently, he loves fish to go with his chips as well. Anyway, we're on the attack. Let's see if we can get a goal here. The breakthrough has not come as early as I would like, but it's still the first 20 minutes. And so far, have we been the team on top? We've been the team on top. They've got a 0 .04 xG. Ours is 0.36. Memphis on the left-hand side, going to have a bit of pressure on him as he whips in the ball. Sancho's there. Let's go, Sancho. Only his sixth goal of the season. He has been disappointing, dare I say, from a goal-scoring perspective. But that one was quite nice. I'm not sure how Memphis kept the ball in here. I think James Milner actually might have helped out. Was it Milner? It was James Milner. What? James Milner's attempted to prevent the corner and kick it out for a throw-in. And in doing so, he's kicked it straight into Memphis, who whips in the ball for assist number four, and uh, well, since he's come into the team, I think it'd be safe to say he's been a bit of an impact player, and he's uh, well had an impact there, of course. Memphis did score against Liverpool last time he played them. He also gave away the ball for their second goal that won them the game, so 
He needs to do a bit more to redeem himself here as Pogba has a great opportunity. The ball's squared to him by Martial. Oh my word, I thought Alisson was about to kick it straight into Martial. He didn't, although Martial threaded it through. Can he score this? No. Straight into the hands of Alisson Becker who will clutch onto it. My word, a flurry of chances going in our favour, but only the one goal to show for it. Half an hour gone in this game. We've been by far and away the better team. This has been a lot more dominant than our previous match at Anfield. And Liverpool looking rocked. And well, we've not seen anything of Salah so far. I might be inviting it by saying we've not seen anything of him. No, oh my luck, he will pick up a goal. He is playing out on the far side for this first half. Keller's getting in behind Salah, who of course is going to be lacking match sharpness. Sharp enough to put in that tackle there, though, and get it back to Alisson, who distributes it to Mane, who is blooming good in football manager, in case you didn't know. I mean, look at him go, dancing. Pass one Bissaka, squares it to Bobby Firmino, who gets two bites of the cherry. The second one fails as De Gea holds on to it. Oh, Mane. Mane going up against Wan Bissaka there. Wan Bissaka has 20 tackling, but he couldn't get close to the dancing legs of Mane right there, unfortunately for us. Anyway, Memphis with it. Big ball to Martial. Can he score it? Now, of course he can. Liverpool may live to rue that missed opportunity. Martial is absolutely insane. Goal number 23 for the season. He has scored in every game so far this month. I believe that is now nine goals in six games. And there's plenty more time left in this one. The number nine, finding form that, dare I say... He's never really had at Manchester United in real life. And Memphis with the assist again. Great run here. The left back playing him on side. The finish was pretty tasty too, wasn't it? I mean, Liverpool is a very different team to the team that we saw against us last time in terms of the performance. I believe they are in the Champions League as well. I feel like that's quite a safe assumption. And they have been struggling as Memphis is threaded through. Go on, Memphis. Make it 3-0 before half time if you can. He hits it. Not the most ferocious of efforts, a tame strike that cut across the grass and went straight into the hands of De Gea. Or not De Gea, sorry, Alisson. I'd be a bit worried if Memphis had a shot that ended up in the hands of De Gea. That would be a shot that's gone the wrong way. Anyway, he's on the ball again. He's left, jo he's left Jordan Henderson in the dirt. Where's he going? Where's he going? Memphis tries to put it into the bottom corner. Alisson collects. I mean, it looks like the right decision at the moment to drop Rashford. A big decision, really. A big call. But, I mean, based on what we've seen so far here, it's the correct one. Chance after chance after chance in our favour. You'd imagine that Liverpool, would, would, they're going to need a goal in quick response. And while it might not come quick enough, Sancho fluffs his lines. That's the Jadon Sancho I've seen more of this year. For £78 million, pounds, I'll, I'll be honest, he has been a bit disappointing. Anyway, I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna tell him I'm very pleased. Sancho is a bit like that product you buy off Amazon, and it's not good enough to write a good review about it, but it's not bad enough a bad enough review and a bad enough product to complain about it, you know. No one leaves a three-star review on Amazon. If you're in the middle ground, you just don't review it. And that's Jaden Sancho. It's kind of like, well, I paid the money and I've probably got what I paid for, but it's nothing to write home about. Oh, my word. The ball knocked around here. Memphis. That's, he's missed quite a few now. I know he's got two assists to his name. At what point do I start ignoring those assists and criticising the misses? Ball whipped in and headed away by Liverpool. I mean, 2-0 is not dead and buried. Liverpool scored two against us before, and while they're breaking through here, Almada chopped down. Welcome, so this derby, my friend, Van der Beek, given that the young Argentine just a, a little roughening up. I thought in the second half, Liverpool might come out, you know, stronger. They might change something. And while they, they simply put, they haven't. They have not really been able to alter the course of this game so far. Um, Baye's on a yellow card. We need to be wary of that. Bruno's on a booking. I'm going to take him off just to be safe and bring in Edwards. Um... Do I want to make any other changes? You know what? I could take off Sancho, who is tiring a little bit. Actually, I'm going to take him off. I'm going to do something a bit controversial here. I'm going to play Depay down the middle. It's definitely not his preferred role, but we're going to play Rashford out on the left. Get the fresh legs in the wide area. Could be a good little chance, I suppose, to experiment a little. See how Memphis can do as a centre attack in mid. It's the great thing about Depay. He's natural on the left wing at striker at centre attack in mid. Whilst it's perhaps not his favourite place to play down the middle, he can do it. 
Liverpool have a chance here. Ball whipped in. By heads it clear to Martial. Options left and right. He's going to go towards Edwards, who has picked up a knock concerningly. Takes it around his man with ease, though. Look at him go. He's dancing. Might have to cut back onto his left foot. Tries to put it in on his weak foot. It's blocked away. Jota. Bit of a risky ball back across his own line there. Wambasaka reads that too. I suppose I should, just while we're here, tell a few of our players to ease off tackles. This is still my favourite feature in Football Manager this year. Players get bookings. I can just tell them at a few clicks of a button to ease off tackles without altering the rest of the game. Anyway, Martial, big ball through. Can he finish this? Of course he can blum and finish it. What kind of question is that? Who am I to doubt him? Goal number 24. Alex Tellers with the assist. And, uh, well, Tellers got one of the match in the midweek game. He's been very, very good. A bit of an unsung hero, dare I say. Ball forward, Martial collects it and just tucks it into the bottom corner. The attempt by Alisson was questionable at best, but we'll take it. 3-0 up, and if we win this game, we would go nine points clear of Liverpool at the top of the table, which we've only, well, I think, I don't think how many games left. There's not many games left. That's the official scientific terminology. Not very many games left. We are in pole position. We would have to bottle it from here. Through injuries, we have remained strong. We've kept the consistency up. I mean, Martial, get a hat-trick, son. Get a hat-trick. Give him a hat. I wish that football was more like ice hockey. In ice hockey, if a player scores a hat-trick, they all throw hats onto the ice. Can you imagine that in football? Just 70,000 fans at Old Trafford throwing hats onto the pitch. Why is that not a thing? There's a few reasons I can imagine why it's not a thing. Um, let's not go into them right now. But 4-0 up. We absolutely deserve this. We've got one last sub in our back pocket. Um, you know what? I'm going to take off Wan-Bissaka, who's on a booking. We'll bring in Brandon Williams. Good opportunity to give him a little bit of first-team football for 10 minutes. Uh, Phelan is suggesting that Sancho comes off for Rashford. Um, it's a beta. Just as a reminder, it's a beta. Rashford has already been subbed off. Wait, Rashford's on. Lindelof's off. I'm very confused. I think, I'm, I think that's old advice, but it should probably just vanish. Maybe I'm the incompetent one. Maybe the game is flawless. Tellez, pick out Martial again. He wants four, everyone. Get him four. Van der Beek, dispossessed. I mean, three minutes left. I have to appreciate Liverpool's desire to break away quickly here in a game that is dead. I would have liked to keep the clean sheet. And while we will still now, I thought that was going in. Thought Jota was going to slot it home. He has not. Wider the mark. And while time trickling away... And, uh, well, we get one over on Klopp. Martial on a 9.1. Depay on an 8.1. Tellez. Tellez. Every time. Tellez on an 8.0. At this point, I might just start calling him Tellez and you guys can all just deal with it. <laughs> I feel like me and pronunciations. It's the first time ever I'm trying to do too much with a pronunciation. A huge win, though, for us there. That is huge. Unfortunately, Marcus Edwards is out for two to three weeks, which is another injury to add to his growing collection. Talked about his form and how well he started kind of the season. Been on a bit of, I don't want to say a downward trend. That might be harsh, but he started with some insane numbers. They were always going to be difficult to maintain. And now, just a second little injury in quick succession. Does mean he is going to have missed, you know, a month or two. Um, just in very, very recent months. You can see here, looking at Martial, a hat-trick in that game. Can I, can I praise him? Can I, can we... I can't praise him right now. I guess I praised him too much previously. Are we friends? We're friends. I've done it. It only took half an episode. I am now friends with Martial. He's added me as a friend on Facebook. It's official, everyone. Oh, my word. If that doesn't deserve a like, I have no idea what does. Apparently, Real Madrid rumours are cracking on. I mean, he's just not for sale. How, long how long's left to your current contract? Three years. That should be fine for now. For now, he's very, very good as Martial. He's been absolutely top draw this year. In a squad that does have a lot of goal scorers, to be fair, he has been the standout one playing down the middle. Anyway, we have got a few injuries and a little bit of lack of condition, which does leave me with a little bit of dread going into the upcoming run of games because they are coming thick and fast. As I mentioned earlier in this video, next episode, we're going to be doing the Carabao Cup final against Arsenal and then the second leg against Atalanta. Of course, that first match of today's episode put us in a great position Tomorrow, 
we try and get it over the line as well as trying to get our first little bit of silverware so uh well hopefully i'll see you guys for that as i mentioned earlier if you have enjoyed the video do drop a like on it we've been doing really well with this series lately you guys have been absolutely smashing it with the views and the likes and the comments uh, i hope you've been enjoying the rest of the fm21 content going up on the channel uh, not just this let's play if for whatever reason you've not checked out that other content be sure to do so i've been putting out some of the best videos i think i've ever put out and uh, people seem to be really enjoying them. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up all from me today. I will see you guys again very soon. It is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.